Hey everybody, it's Neil from Zig. Uh, continuing on our ArcViz in Blender work. Uh, so now what I'm doing is I'm blocking out the interior and what you can see here uh, is kind of my blocking render. So um, quickly I discovered that just, you know, setting up an HDRI for the interior wouldn't work. Um, and so I set up an area light and normally I would do that as like a portal. Uh, so usually um, the portal light will basically take anything that's behind it and, and project that as a light into the space. So a lot of times you'll use it to kind of block out windows, like put area lights to match window sizes. Set them as portals and then they'll project you know, direct light in that feels very natural and matches the color and all that kind of stuff. But I think, you know, one of the problems with it is, is that um, you know, especially something like Cycles, which is a very kind of photographic render based on, you know, real world uh, physics, um, is that you don't necessarily end up with the kind of image that you want to end up with, because if I was going to do that and then expose the image correctly on the interior, uh, then the outside would be blown out, and that's not really what I wanted to achieve. I wanted to be able to see the inside and outside space as a continuous thing, because you know sometimes in art phase, particularly if this is going to be like a sales document for somebody, um, then you know you want to give the experience of the space as the human eye would see it, not necessarily as uh, a photographic camera would see it. But we want to give this sense of kind of a continuous space between the inside and the outside because that's how this house is designed. So, um, and some of the decisions I've made in here may also impact what we did in the previous video in terms of the the stuff we chose because I went for a very you know kind of mid-century modern interior, and I'm really just dropping in uh, furnishings to get get the lay of the land. I mean, I'm treating this very much like an interior designer would or at least I'm trying to, um, by really experimenting with shape and color uh, and, and depth. And, uh, and in terms of then how I get the composition, you can see here, you know, I've, I've gone for this sense of foreground, middle ground, background. I mean, this is a really fundamental idea in delivering depth that's very common in animation because, uh, you know, particularly 2D animation doesn't necessarily have any depth on its own. And so we always talk about foreground, mid ground, background elements. And uh, so, you know, that's part of, you know, the cell of creating depth to this scene. Um, I think I think there are some, you know, issues and in, in those issues that I see uh, right now aren't necessarily issues with lighting. Again, I, I, I like the lighting. I think it could probably be, you know, the exposure could come up a bit. And the, the issues I'm seeing right now are, you know, issues of material and color and um, uh, just kind of the objects or the, the set dressing of the scene because we've just got like a bunch of furniture in here. I mean, first off, these two chairs are um, a too low poly. They need, they need some work uh, in order to look better. Uh, the material on the chairs doesn't feel right. It's a bit plasticky. Um, it doesn't have the right kind of sheen, so I've got to put some time into that. Uh, the These surfaces are just empty. Um, essentially, we need to, you know, put things on them. Uh, magazines, you know, maybe a, a laptop or a, you know, surface book or something like that. Um, some papers, uh, glasses, pen holders, um, you know, whatever we think is going to be appropriate. Uh, up here on the ceiling, it's just a plain ceiling. Nothing was designed in for this, so um, probably could use some pot lights. Certainly could use a chandelier coming down here. I mean, there's nothing in this kind of center dead space here. Uh, and I think I think a large kind of ball-shaped chandelier would help this a lot. Uh, this lamp, you know, it's painted white, but it's kind of this creamy white. Um, it doesn't really match the wall, so I think I need to put some work in there adjusting the color so this feels like a more uniform scene because I don't like this idea of having this weird creamy lamp up against this more... Um, you know, this wall reads more violet almost to me. And then um, I think there's not enough variation in the furniture. So this this cabinet here looks really nice, um, but what I might do is, is paint it or shellac it so that it has 
uh, a spring color. And I think overall, I mean, the, the furniture itself generally is just too heavy. Um, you know, it's an airy space, but I think, you know, when you're selling things, you want to, you know, brighten it up as much as you possibly can. I think this furniture here, I mean, this couch looks good, but it's, it's just too dark. Uh, and so I want to develop a palette for all of the furniture in here so it all feels connected, it all feels light, it all feels, um, you know, quite uh, appealing. Um, uh, and I would say also in terms of that is there's um, a lack of variation in texture. So the next pass, I'm going to look at, you know, maybe throwing a blanket on top of here, adding uh, some, you know, pillows to these different um, sections. Um, you know, this is the kind of stuff that somebody who is setting this up uh, to, to photograph as an interior designer for a magazine or something like that would start to, to look at doing. So, so stick with it. Again, um, you're going to be able to get all of these assets. I will post a download link and you can play around with it. Um, feel free to critique whatever you like. Uh, give me some notes and I will take those notes into the next round. Thanks.